Today on Two Kubota Outdoors, we're going to evaluate this 8-pound Fisker Splitting Mall. Let's get to it. Today we're going to make a video on the very first use of this brand new Fiskars ISO Core Splitting Mall. You know, this is going to be a, a mall that's a little bit larger than an axis as an 8-pound head with a, kind of a sludge end and then obviously we have our uh, cutting edge here too that's pretty beefy so obviously thicker than an axe. The purpose of this splitting mall is to uh, really split up some larger chunks of cut up wood. We're going to try to tackle a few more of these. So after we get some wood cut up I will take this to the wood for the first time and let you guys know what I think about this thing based on its overall functionality and its performance. So function by way of does it do what it's supposed to do? And then, of course, by performance, in that how well does it actually uh, cut wood with this eight pound sludge head? So what we have lined up here in the foreground, we have two pieces of uh, cut up oak. And the first one right here in the foreground is probably about eight, eight inches. And then the uh, bigger one there is about 13. Out on the far end out there, a, a bigger piece of elm. It's probably about uh, 12 inch, 11 inches maybe, and then uh, going down. So let's give these a crack. First time with the Fiskars Isocore Splitting Mall. First up, let's take a look at the small piece of oak. Let's try the bigger piece of oak. You notice that I was striking right in the middle, and if you have to split wood, there's no reason to hit the, the center of a piece of wood. Uh, that's really where it's most dense. And if you're really, really interested at splitting wood more efficiently, you can just take off edges, you know, instead of always trying to strike the center. But I wanted to try the uh, splitting mall right in the center to see how well that, uh, how it felt, and the mass of the, the head struck well on here. Next, we're going to show you a close-up of what this head looks like in slow motion. Online, some of the reviews were pretty decent about this Fiskars pro eight pound mall is that it has a shock system in here and I think this is just more of a rubbery composite in the handle and when I was testing this thing out there isn't really a shock you know I had an old uh, an older splitting mall that broke that I'll do another review on but that you could feel all the way up your arms and uh, this one is pretty good so let's go ahead and uh, try these elm next We'll first strike the largest elm, which again is probably about 11, maybe 11, 12 inches. As I'm using this, you can see that the, the mall does a pretty good job. The splitting mall goes into, into the wood pretty well. Opposite end of the splitting mall can be used to knock maybe frozen logs loose or if you have wedges or something like that that you're trying to drive into the wood for splitting you can kind of use the other end to uh, hammer with basically or in my case here to knock some of these frozen logs out of uh, just to knock them loose so let's try it the eight pound wedge at the end is you know, it's heavy, I mean, to, to a degree. I mean, I'm supposed to be swinging that thing all day to probably get tired out, but like my neighbor said, he, he likes to use axes and that's fine. But uh, for me, when I need some muscle, I like this eight pound maul quite a bit. The splitting maul, does a, it handles really well. There's not a lot of vibration and I would have to agree so far with the reviews online that this is a pretty decent splitting maul for the price at about 60 to $70. One other thing to pay attention to from a safety perspective with this maul or, or axe or really anything like that that you're using is pay attention to where your feet are. You know, when you're coming down, 
making a strike with this thing that your feet aren't in the way because this thing does carry a lot of weight behind it and it could really do a number on your shins or your feet if you're not careful so be safe have fun out there and thanks for watching Appreciating them all from afar. <laughs>